Welcome to the Music Empire, guys. The channel that spreads the gospel of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus through the talent He's given us. And in today's lesson, we want to take a look at the second part of our previous lesson, which you just saw me play the cover right now. Yes, in the part one of this video, we took a full look at how to play the strings that you were hearing in the cover, right? In the second, this second video, we want to take a look at your role as a pianist in such an atmosphere but before we continue um guys i have seen in the comment section in the previous video a lot of you are asking how how did i create those tones what kind of tones am i using and all that well it's not something i can just say that i did it this way and i did it that way and then that was all that is why you have to visit our website musicempire.com the link is down in the description below the link is just down in this description below you find the link to our website and when you go there, you will see an intensive Ghanaian worship course over there. In that course, we have taken our time to fully explain how we come up with these tones. It's something that you create, okay, from the keyboard that you have. You know, we, don't, we all don't use the same piano, and there are even different brands there. Yes, so we took our time to explain how we are able to come up with such tones, and even the piano tones that you're about to listen for instance. How am I able to come up with this kind of tone and all that? We explained all of it into details so that whatever keyboard or piano that you have, you'll be able to create such tones, okay, on your own. And there are also wonderful courses on our website as well. But with that being said, let me just quickly tell you the tones I'm using for the piano section today. So in today's lesson, I'm just using two tones to generate this sound. Yeah, so I have the grand piano itself, and then I have a Galaxy DX, and I've blended these two with the same volume level, okay? So I've blended the two together, yes, the grand piano and the Galaxy DX. So if you have a piano, then you can dwell it. Just select your first tone. Obviously, the first tone that you will see on any digital keyboard is, is, the, is, is the grand piano, or you will always see the grand piano category right obviously on on any digital keyboard or piano that you come across just blend it with a with a galaxy ep you will surely see galaxy the word galaxy at least in the ep section so just blend it together and then you'll be able to generate this kind of sound like i said if you want the details visit our website and then get the worship course for yourself okay so let's get started with today's lesson the lesson is what yeah cool too nice sorry in the previous lesson, we broke down the basic progressions. We are coming to follow these same progressions, so nothing is changing. So, yeah, the same progressions. Now, I've also left the link for the previous lesson in the video in the in the description as well, so you can check that one out. But as a pianist. When it comes to Ghanaian local worship, you don't directly follow the, the courts like that. Or you don't try to follow as if you are alone playing. Remember that when it comes to local Ghanaian worship, the, the strings player or the part player is more important for the occasion than you. That is not to say that you are less important. But the strings player is playing the major role. So if the strings player is the one playing the major role, then you, the pianist, we will now have to accompany what he is doing with some beautiful licks and some simple chords. Okay, so here is not the environment. The, the local Ghana worship, the typical one, is not the environment or the platform for you to go all out with your piano chords. Yes, so for example, when we start with the Yako to you don't, you don't, you don't like, uh, like, no, not like that. I just follow with melody. So like you're cool to you can just do and you rest. Sorry, you can even you can even skip that part. So like you're cool to like then you skip them. Now you're sorry part, right? Then maybe you meet them at the Omiya Me Gwamba 
So let's see what I just did over here, for instance. It was based on a lick, okay? So we have... Now we are in the key of C sharp, okay? So we have um, so do or 5 to the 1. But look at how I played the 5 to the 1. I played the 5 and I did the rule from the flat 7 or the tall to the 1, to the do. So like... Yeah, so try this lick, okay? So you see, I'm trying to follow the singer melodically by doing yeah, cool, right? Yeah, cool. But look at how I'm doing it. Yeah, and, and then on my left hand, I still have the me, so like... Yeah, you see. So the touch and everything is very, very, very important when it comes to look how I piano play. So I have now look at what, I, what I'm doing on my left hand. So on my left hand, I have the three, seven, five, or me, C, then so. But look at how I blend them together. Okay, so just try this. No, so this not, I'm not coming to do chords. You see. Okay, and I can, I can even add these two notes, which is the two and five to it. So you have okay, so then I do a two and a seven, or re and a T on my, on my right hand, still maintaining what I'm doing on the left hand. So we have. You just relax. So yeah, yeah, go to. So here yeah, I'm applying a lot of grace notes that you, the strings player, cannot do. A strings player cannot do grace notes, but I am applying the grace notes here. So we have. So I have on the four. This is just a four octave, the five octave, right? But my right and I have. I just have these two, the re and the la, or the two and the six, and I just. Quickly switch from the re to the me. It's like, okay, yeah. So actually, the piano play for local Ghanaian worship songs are very simple, right? When I do D re or flat two to the two, so the last one. Then I uh, yeah, sorry, you just 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 give it to the strings. And then let's say we want to meet the, 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 them at this Ujani Gamba, right? Okay, so what can we do? Over there, we have to throw in a lick as well. So we can just do this. We can, instead of, um, let's say, meeting them on the la like this, like playing a full chord, let's leave the full chord to the strings player. And then let's just do like something like that. So. Um, yeah, cool to yeah. Now you're sorry, what are you do? And you, you, you just relax again. So you just come in, you appear, disappear, you appear, disappear. I mean, that's the most important thing I can teach you. So what I did right now was me more D or three minor third flat three two flat two so three. So I'm just doing a chromatic work down from the three to the flat two, right? Then what I'm doing about what I'm doing on my right hand is this. So then you relax. So these are some diminished seventh chords I'm doing on my right hand, which is um, the A diminished seventh chord to the A flat diminished seventh chord. So on the A diminished seventh chord, which is I'm attaching the A flat diminished seventh chord to the two, right? And then the a flat diminished seventh chord to the flat two to all to your D. So I have okay. So this is um, C or A or your flat six to the uh, seven two four or Z T B fa over the re over the two. Okay. Then you come to the flat two, which is your D, and then I have the so to D. So like yeah, go to then we relax. I am sorry, woo. Then see the old yami ramba. We come to the two. So it's like we are meeting them over here. 
So whilst the strings player, let let's imagine those to be the strings. Whilst the strings player is doing, we are doing. Then we all meet at the same place. So on the two, I have the two six four, right? Which is what we laugh. And on my right, and I have the six one four, which is la do fa. Okay. Yeah. So we have. Do your do like this, okay? Yeah. So like, Onyami, Baba, then Ufanta, then we leave it to the string player. So we leave the soul to the string player. Then we meet them at the do, which is. So what did I do on the one? I'm just playing some quarters over here. So I have the T, Mi, La, right? And then I have the from the T, Mi, La, I'll play La, Mi, So. So I have seven, three, six, then six, two, five. So, so this is a chord you can play on the one. You look at, look at Ghana worship. So right. Then you relax. Go faster, yeah. You can just, do, you can just do this runs. Or you can just do like. Just to, just to, just to raise that atmosphere. That do you remember the strange guy would do, right? Like that's what the strange guy is doing, and then you are doing. Um, then probably the singer will start again. Yeah, go to. So you can just run a lick over there. So like. Let me just show you this lick over the fire. Yeah, so the next year, you won't play a but you run a fire chord, like a fire lick. So, so that's that's what. Um, um, do, re, mo, re, do, so, la, so. So, yeah, go to. You see? Then relax. Okay. So, like, one, two, flat, three, two, one. Five six. Then you can do on the sorry. So this time you can join them with the sorry part, and then you do la so fi over the ring or what six five flat five over the two. Then you play a five. Then you relax. Okay. So you see, it's all about what coming in, disappearing, appearing, disappearing. So the next year, go to. So you see, I didn't even play the do there. Like. Uh, Sorry, just disappear. Then, see, yeah. So, I just want to leave you with these few licks for this lesson. Just practice them, and then, especially, I, I think what I love the most was the lick I just did on the four, which is. Do we more do? Like I'm doing some kind of blues in in, in worship, Ghana Luka worship, right? Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, share for others to be blessed because a lot of wonderful things are going on on this channel. Yes, and and you don't want to be the only person benefiting from it. Let all your friends who are into music also benefit from it. God richly bless you. Let's meet in our next lesson.